Yes, it is actually possible to do multi-out AUV3 instruments in Logic. Let's see if we can do it right now. I'm going to open up Logic and create a brand new project. We're going to create a track here. We're going to go to MIDI and it brings up our instrument down the bottom here. So I'm going to open up an instrument. Let's use DigiStix 2 just as an example. So now that we've got that down here as an instrument, we can open up DigiStix. We need to scroll down to where our drum kits are, the mixer, and we need to click on these and assign them to output buses. Now we can move this down here. So they've got our bass drum. Let's do our snare. We're going to move this to output bus two. Then we're going to go to number three. We're going to just move along these four in a row here. Nothing special, just to show you how it works. We're going to choose five. And we've got number six. Where are we? Seven and eight. There we go. So if I click through these, you'll see the numbers down here correspond as we click through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's done. Those four pieces of the kit are now assigned and we can close the G-Sticks. And there's a two ways you can do this. You can add sends just by clicking the send section and add a send. We need to add eight sends to match up. So you can do it this way and add a send like this. Hit the plus button, add a bus, create a new bus. Then you have to go back to sends, do a new bus, add a new bus. The alternative way is to lower this, bring up your mixer, make sure you're in the edit screen up here. And we can keep adding buses this way. So bus, new bus, three, new bus, four. This is a much quicker way of doing it. As I said, we need eight of these. New bus, five, new bus, uh, six. And we need two more, seven. And finally, so let's scroll. We have eight buses. Now here's the trick. This is the thing that's Odd. I don't know if this is a bug or not that we're allowed to do this, or maybe it's just a bug. You need to go in now to the instrument, click on this and replace it. Once you replace it, you'll get this option, replace it with the same AUV3. And look at this, you now get multi output, 10 times stereo. Sick. So that's now uh, ready to go. Now we can go up to the individual buses and click on these and go through and add three and four. We can go instrument here, five and six, and just move down the list like this, seven and eight, bus four now becomes uh, nine and 10, bus five becomes 11, 12, bus six becomes <laughs> 13, 14, and we've got 15, 16, and finally bus 17, 18. So that's all done, we're ready to go. So now if we bring up our pad and you can see our mixer here, let's go to our pads, drum pads. And if I drag my finger along the bottom, you can see they're all being played like so. Wicked. So uh, hopefully I haven't tried recording this yet, but it should work. Let's uh, hit record. And when we play it back, you should be able to see, let's just go back to our full screen mixer here. Make sure we're out of the edit screen and play. We can mute each part of the kit, solo each part of the kit if we want. It's all there, it's all done. Multi-out is working here in Logic Pro. If you like this video, <laughs> hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe for more of these daily digests do what makes you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. See you on the next one.